Hi, I'm Margaret from Sewing Machine Warehouse in Sydney, Australia. And today I'd like to talk to you about the new Juki TL2010Q. Okay, this is a uh, semi-industrial sewing machine. So it's constructed quite, um, it's, it's got a metal construction and it's quite a heavy duty sewing machine but does not require the uh, table that you need for an industrial. And also it just it's just a good straight sewing machine that can sew at 1500 stitches per minute and uh, because it, it because of that um, people who do uh, light industrial work at home piecework commercial uh, curtain makers quilters would love this sewing machine or just uh, a, a dressmaker who might sew a lot of uh, straight seams uh, they would also need to probably have another machine for buttonholes because this machine doesn't do anything like that. But because it's so so simple and fuss free, everything is so smooth and easy on it. There's nothing that really can go wrong. Um, what I'd like to show you that they this is the machine that superseded the TL twenty ninety eight P. So. They made a few extra changes to this sewing machine um, that would probably be appreciated now by the quilter. Um, so let's run through those things at, uh, right now. Um, what you have now is an extra tension unit. So this is now called the pre-tensioner and that that's an addition. The speed control now here on the side which the TL98 did not have so you can slow this machine right down and they've also changed the foot control so now it's uh, more simplistic and the cutter is now activated by the um, back pedal on the, on the foot control so uh, it's nice and simple to use too now I'll just run through some of the accessories that you get with this machine um, what you get here now is a, um, also you get the walking foot, okay. You get two free motion feet, so there's a quarter inch one and a fifth of an eight, uh, sorry, a fifth of an inch one. Okay, so you get both of those. You get the adjustable zipper foot, okay, which is also good for piping. You get the roll hammer or narrow hammer okay and the compensating foot for when you're top stitching so you've got um, a stacked side here for when you're on a single layer of fabric and the double layer would be on the shallow side so it compensates compensates for the un unevenness in your fabric okay you also get your uh, screwdriver, cleaning brush, a little um, spool cap, and the got two of those. <laughs> the um, cone stand for when you're using cones on your sewing machine. So you get one of those. Uh, a special, exclusive screwdriver. So this has three tips on it. Okay. Packet of needles. Your oil your lead cord, sorry lead, um, and instruction book in two languages, so English and Spanish, as well as you get this fantastic extension table, okay, which, which completes the bed on your machine to make it um, a, work, a good work surface, plus six leveling, leveling feet, as well as your knee lever. Okay, now just going to extend those out. And it's quite a heavy machine too, so it, it is very stable at high speed. And that table fits on like so. Okay. And also allows you a little window here to access your bobbin. 
Okay, so it's nice and easy to get to without having to take your table off all the time. Plus, you've got lots of room in this area, the C section. So you have uh, six inches in height and eight and a half inches in width. So that gives you a nice clear space in there to get some bulky items in, especially good for if you're quilting. Okay, you can roll that quilt up. There's lots of room in there. Okay. Um, now on the machine, you've got your stitch length selector. Goes right up to six on this one. Um, needle up, needle down button. Uh, thread trimmer button. Obviously, we went through that before. Your speed control, your reverse, as well as uh, your feed dog drop. Okay, so that, that's when you're free motioning. Or if you do have to get something bulky in there, you might want to recess your feed teeth. Okay. Um, bob and wind up, which is on the machine. And you've got your thread antenna here. So um, you, take, you can use your bigger cones of thread or your little ones. And over here, we have our foot pressure adjustment. So... If you are sewing bulky uh, items, you can take your pressure off. Or if you're sewing something really stiff, increase your pressure. And a needle threader, which I will show you how to use in a moment. I'll just thread the machine up for you. And we'll go through that right now. Let me just put my knee lever in while we're at it. So it goes in right here. like so. Okay, so that helps when you're wanting to keep your hands on your work and you use your knee to lift your foot up. Okay, now let's run through the threading of the machine. I'll just put my glasses on here. So you can use your domestic reels, that's okay, but they do give you a spool cap so if you are sewing at high speed, these won't fly off. Alright. Now we might wind a bobbin first. So you get four bobbins with your machine. So you just loop it around once, like that. And there's a little hole in your bobbin to pass your thread through. Pop it on your spool bobbin winder. Now there is a little uh, pin which you need to locate and that locks your bobbin in place and then click that across and obviously you do need to use your foot control here and just hold on to it and start winding. Oop. There we go. Now when you've Wound a little bit, just stop and clip that thread, and then you can wind the rest of your thread on. Now, it is quite efficient, and it won't take long to fill a bobbin up, but I might just stop there because I don't need a full bobbin. Click that. So, there we go, nice, even winding thread on your bobbin. Now, lift up your door and your bobbin case is an all metal construction and your bobbins are all metal so you will put you will have to put your bobbins in a clockwise direction through the slot and under your spring okay so that's how you put your bobbin in and use your lever to help you locate this pin in your bobbin case area and click it in. Okay, and then close the door and we're ready to thread the sewing machine. Okay, let's thread up our machine. Now at this uh, thread guide you only need to thread the first and last if your thread is normal thread. If you have something like 
silky or slippery you will have to thread all three okay so I've just done the first and the last over your first or pretension guide now down through the normal tension back up to the top and incorporate that spring okay so that's correct there when it starts wobbling up under this guide through this one over your take up lever back through there through this one now there's one more above your needle just there and just hold on to your thread and using your right hand take your needle threader down all the way and then around oops underneath and there's your needle threader now you might have to do that a couple of times till you understand what it does but once you get it it's quite quick all right now I'm just going to bring the uh, bobbin thread up so needle down button press it once and then twice and that will bring your bobbin thread up there you go you have both of them there and then take your thread to the back and you're ready to start sewing now your needle plate has metric measurements at the back so 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 mils and your imperial measurements at the front so you're, you've got your quarter inch your that be I'm not sure five eighths of an inch and then your one inch so you've got quarter inch markings from there onwards but you've got some smaller increments in here so I guess that's a fifth of an inch that one um, so that that's great and that's a middle plate there now you've also got a couple of screw holes here uh, these are for if you add on any guides um, by binding attachment they're there two holes at the front and the other holes are for oiling now that's all in your book okay so you will have to check on maintenance if you need to oil that, that machine and it's only a drop that you put in there okay now we're ready to start sewing okay so I might just use a one centimeter allowance there so I'll just show you the reverse so you've got your reverse button right there now I've set the machine for two and a half reverse and then click and needle up okay so just a straight stitch but normal stitch length now if you have to I'm just going to show you how fast it goes so I'll, let, I'll actually leave it there but so you can see how quick it goes if you do need to do a little bit of uh, speed work okay all right now if you need to baste I'll put it right up to six mils now I'll just baste around this just to show you this also has a little bit of wadding in there and that you don't need to put your walking foot on for everything so I'll just draw that pin. I love the fact that you've got a knee lifter here. Show you, see? I'm just basting it, so holding the layers together. Oops. Probably went one stitch too much. Okay. So 
So that's your basting or long stitch. So if you do have to gather with that, uh, that's the kind of stitch you're going to use for that. Now I might just put in a zipper, so I'll show you that. Let me take the foot off. So you've got one screw there that will take all your feet ankles off. Now these all have a built-in ankle. Alright, so your zipper foot looks like that. Also great for piping. Screw that on. So it's quite quick to put on. Just give it one tighten. Okay, now we'll have to move that zipper foot over. Now depending on which side I'm going to do, I'll just put that right there, okay. So, let me just undo that. So this is going to be a pencil case, so I'll just show you how easy it is to put this zipper in. Oh, I need to move it over. There you go. Let's just check that now. Just reduce my stitch length and off I go. Not difficult at all, and everything is moving quite well together without pinning. Just pull that zipper pull back now and sew the rest. Trim my thread. There we go. So now I'll sew the other side. We can do that off camera. <laughs> okay, so. We're going to show you a little bit of free motion quilting. Now what I've done is I've changed my foot to the one-fifth of an inch foot. Okay, I've lowered the foot pressure so I've turned this dial all the way up. I've lowered my feed teeth or feed dogs so I've had it up. Now they're down. Okay, stitch length doesn't matter because you're in control anyway. And I've threaded my machine up just like normal. And now it's up to me to steer the fabric. So you can slow this down a little bit depending on your level of uh, expertise on this type of stitching. As you can see, it gives a perfect stitch on the back as well. Okay, so now we're going to show you how it sews vinyl. Okay, so if you do have to do some small uh, upholstery jobs or, um, you know, where you have to sew some vinyl or leather, it will handle it. Obviously, it won't replace a walking foot machine if you do this constantly. Um, but it will do these 
small jobs for you, no problem. I've just changed my needle to a jeans needle. Now this takes normal domestic needles. Okay, now the reason I changed to a jeans needle is to accommodate this thicker thread. So I've wound a bobbin with the uh, Guterman Extra and I've threaded my machine with the same. So I'm just going to put my piping cord inside. So just show you how it makes piping. It's very simple. Now there are specialty piping feet, but you can do this with your adjustable zipper foot. Okay, so I've just got it on a longer stitch just to make my piping. Just take it slowly. Now even though I'm sewing slow, I haven't reduced my speed, I'm just controlling it with my foot. So you can still control your machine um, with your foot rather than changing the speed on your machine and then go back to fast sewing without flicking a switch. Okay, so that's... Okay, so now we're ready to put our piping between the two layers. So we will have four layers of vinyl going underneath the foot there. And as you can see, it'll handle it quite well. It is quite bulky. So you can do small upholstery items without any problem. So if you do handbags or anything like that, this is the machine for you. Okay, now, as you can see, this machine is quite versatile, even though it's just a straight stitch machine. But if this is what you're after, you'll enjoy it immensely for all your sewing. Now. If you do want to purchase a machine like this, just check out our website. And we do deliver all over Australia. Um, it is quite heavy, so just check when you're ready to purchase um, exactly what the postage will cost. If you do have any questions or you want to put some comments, just uh, leave us a comment below. And like and subscribe. And from all of us from Sewing Machine Warehouse, happy sewing.